In this video, I would like to explain the pocket query support within the internal web browser. Uh, you go to a window web browser and you see that there is a script for pocket queries to save settings, restore settings and to create queries. And what that is, I will show you. Um, I'll go to the text side too. So when you go to the pocket queries web page, uh, you will have to create a series, but I'll explain later what that is. First, I'm going to show the save and restore settings. For that, we create a new query. And let's say we want to have all the geocaches within Luxembourg. So, let's say all, all Lux. Oh, just all Lux. It's the name. We want to run it every day or week. And we have thousand. And, well, not all types. Just the way I go to this, no virtuals. Earth, box, and, and webcam, and of course we need to select a country, Luxembourg. It's a small box, huh? Luxembourg. There it is. So we. You, you can, any settings doesn't matter. You can cre um, select also attributes if you want to. And now you can save these settings. Save. So if we close this page and we would create a new pocket query, we can do a restore settings. We select this one and we press OK. Now you see that all, all settings are restored. And you can cr create as many settings uh, as you like. So that's easy uh, for, for adding new pocket queries. It's also another option to create series. Let's say uh, for Luxembourg we want to create uh, pocket queries to get all caches from Luxembourg. Uh, but you know there is only uh, allowed to have thousand in a pocket query, so we do create series, and this will create all the pocket queries for uh, all date ranges you you give. So we create a new one. We say again all lux series. Press new. It's okay, which settings do we want to use? The all lux we saved. So now you have the option to create uh, the interval, date intervals. So we can have 2002 and we can add it. So now we have from January 1st, 2001 to this date and from this date to this one, that's the end. So it will create two pocket queries. You can press save. So if I press create it will create with the settings you just stay all the pocket queries and if you go here you see that they are created but to get the, all the date ranges, that's that's a lot of work. This program can help you with that. So go back to create queries, we select this one, say OK. Um, I want to do uh, automatically check the ranges. And there are several options. You can do it from selection. So that means if you already have all the geocaches of uh, Luxembourg, and you say, well, and you select them. I will just select all now, just for an example. And, and, you, and you do a from selection. It will now use the ge these geocaches in your database, the selected ones, to determine the date range. So it will, so 
the pocket queries will have a maximum of 900. Uh, but that's only when you already have the geocaches in your database. Most of the time it's not the case, or especially the first time it's not the case. So there's also an option to determine automatically. So if you press automatic, So now the program is trying to find the date ranges for you. Well, I decided to use Luxembourg, so there are only two. <laughs> well, I should take a little out of three, actually. So now I've already found one. Take some time to find another one. So now it's ready. So now you can press save. So now you will see that there are three pocket queries needed in order to get uh, all the caches from Luxembourg. That's from January 1st to this date, and this interval, and this one to the last date. Uh, press save. Let's see what the and for this to determine the ranges, the one pocket query is created. So now I'll remove this one. So now I can let the program create the pocket queries. And I can change the name. Um, this is the name, the template, the index, and uh, that's the number. So it started with 0, 01, 0, and then 0, 02, 0, 03 number of the index um, and at start date and end date you can use in, within your name and it will be replaced by the date so just leave it as this and say create pocket query that the three pocket queries are generated and go to the first one you can see that the date range is also supplied um, this is the maximum um, in the pocket query the last one, uh, this is not working if you do it automatically, uh, it's only for this. And uh, the delay that's between uh, the web pages, the request, you can, uh, well, to, you can add a delay to it. And the margin, uh, 50. So if Pocket Query has, uh, let's say, 870, that would be okay too. So if you set this lower, then it will get closer to the pocket here, but it will take longer to decide the, the interval. So that's, uh, that's how it works.